So right here is an Obi-Wan Masters replica. I removed these two screws here, which I believe I didn't even have to do. I didn't know how, I didn't study to see how these were put together. So I took off the cover tech from down here, which part of the plastic went into the plastic some, but then I finally got the switch out switch for the switch I had to remove this top piece in order to get to the the two little screws underneath end up breaking this so I'm gonna have to replace this piece and the little brass pin up here so I'm probably going to most likely use this one as as a momentary switch and then use the main little sliding piece in here for a for a kill switch so momentary switch most likely here I'll probably put another momentary switch in this piece because I'll have to I'll have to set something in place and I'll probably like bond have a little switch coming up through the middle of this for it to work with we'll see but so there's the blade, it came as an incomplete hilt so it doesn't have the, the bottom pommel re region but it's, it's the same specs as like the Return of the Jedi one. The only difference is the ROTJ is more like the, the brushed aluminum look while this one's more like the, the chromed bladed metal so I just have to find a pommel piece for it. From what I see from the blade holder it's not overly complex so I'll just have to study the internals before I come up with a blade holder. It does have this rubber piece that they have in here. I'm probably going to end up taking this out so I can run a carbon fiber blade holder all the way up to the end. I do have a pretty good ways for this to go into the chassis so I'm going to have to create a stopping point in there and try to eliminate a whole lot of play because there's going to be room for a lot of pretty good amount of movement I might use a, a small piece of carbon fiber in there just to to create a, a little bit of a stop to kind of hold hold the chassis about this far in or so because you gotta think that there's gonna be a pommel piece running off the end and there's still gonna be about that much that the chassis could go into so I'm gonna have to measure it out As far as the internals go, I got the blade holder and chassis holder in place. I just got to find the pommel for it. So right now, chassis slides right in perfectly. Still got to do all the work on the chassis. I already got the board programmed. So, just mostly I'm looking for a pommel piece for it, but right now I got carbon fiber running from all the way from the top to the bottom. That makes it for a real, really strong and sturdy build. So I'm gonna try to keep it in line with this, kind of follow the, the grenade grip on this and work my way down. So it'll probably be right here or here having the set screw for the NeoPixel PCB holder and then right about here for the blade hole retention screw. Seems like a pretty good spot. It's nice and solid. Should work pretty good. Got this routed around so I can fit a nice uh, tactile momentary switch in here. And then I'm planning on putting it in kind of like this, having a switch inside 
this little star piece and then just and then I'm gonna have have a little brass tactile switch for momentary switch on it right there now it's the time for the shame and call if you like this video press the like button if you didn't subscribe yet press the subscribe button if you have friends that like this video share with them thank you for watching so I've made a little progress on the hilt. I end up drilling out the two set screws all the way through the carbon fiber. So right now I got a stainless steel 836 516 7 inch set screw in here. I'm going to be replacing that one with a brass one. And this one is going to just stay in there. That's a stainless steel. Uh, 830 socket set screw so got them both in line with with the the grenade grip here and, and it looks pretty good this will look better once once I got a brass one in there now I got everything milled out for this right here just went through build it so this will fit up just right and now the only thing I have to do is start running for this part is running the wiring so I started prepping the chassis here so I spray painted it silver got the recharge port wired in and the battery pack on the back got it all soldered up so got my negative it's gonna go to the profi board kinda set this up so I can drop the profi board right there peel that off so I can stick it to this part of the profi board right here now this is just one of my old ones I'm gonna be using uh, the red profi board on this build got a KR Savers speaker that's gonna go on it this part of the positive is what's gonna end up going to the the NeoPixel PCB this positive right here is actually going to go to the kill switch which I just glued this back down but this is gonna act as a kill switch got the two wires running from there and then one of these wires is going to connect up to here and the other wires can connect directly up to the profi board so yeah this will operate as a kill switch I got the cover tech back on here got this taped off because I'm gluing this back down in the middle of it is a nice momentary switch so won't be too much too much longer and this will be bonded down. I still gotta decide how I'm going to set up this switch in here and once I get the speaker in place then I can glue this down on there so get the nice speaker cover in place but it won't be too long. I glued the wires down here and here just to make it so I don't have any wires interfering you can see I trimmed around the foam tape I just did this to kind of create a platform I don't really care if this becomes unsticky because this piece is what's actually gonna be bonding the profi board down and just kind of created a channel for the wires to run through underneath watching this video. If you like this video, then please press the like button. And if you like what you've been watching, uh, please hit the subscribe button. To see our latest video, click on the link to the right. 
Thank you again. Later, later.